If you're wondering why I have this shit on me, even if I'm not using it, well, fuck me good. Under the Freud dichotomy of, no, not dichotomy, the stages of sexual development, I never left the oral phase, so I'm still a fucking one year old putting shit in my mouth. With Mandela's death two days ago, I basically, I haven't seen anything that surprised me. One of the bands I follow, Cedar, a South African alternative metal band, one of the members spoke about, I believe it's the lead singer, how when he grew up when he was 12 and that apartheid segregation shit ended, he was so stoked because now all those snobby white only places are full of black people now and they're so rebellious and edgy. <sighs> it's really interesting because I realize now that what is the criteria to become a liberal martyr? Because the interesting thing is this man isn't by any logic a martyr. Okay, this guy has initiated a lot of violence. A lot of white farmers are dead because of this guy. They're gone, they're not here anymore. Where are their memoirs? They're gone. Apparently never happened. Because if a tree falls and nobody's smart enough to realize it, it didn't fucking happen. Ignorance is proof that there needs to be a sixth sense. Curiosity, intellectual curiosity, that's the fucking sixth sense. But on a Hitler rant parody, a Hitler rants parody video, I actually noticed that some people actually said, Hey, if you take a look at some of the stuff this guy historically did, he's not all that great. He's not a Martin Luther King or a Gandhi. And that struck me as interesting. Because of Martin Luther King, these were similar people. Not just in the fact that they promoted this, what was essentially desegregation, they were labeled martyrs, they were both sexual degenerates, but the fact that they were both crypto-communist spies. So that lets me know a lot about what makes a martyr. There are standards, but when I look at a Gandhi, in many ways, Gandhi's a bigger deal than both Luther and fucking Mandela. Yet Gandhi's probably the most right-wing of all of them. Nigga endorsed Hitler. Oh, you don't even know that? Guy was very traditionalist when it came to fucking females. I mean, he fucking let his wife die of a disease because he said God wills it. And when he had the same disease, he was like, fuck, I, I'm not gonna take this. He hated blacks. And no, that didn't go away. 
so what kind of what is the criteria? Because obviously hating black people isn't the criteria. Liking them isn't the criteria. So this isn't about racial equality as much as it is about disliking anything that is for interests of whites, whether it be imperialistic or them separating themselves from people of other races for mutual safety and the economic benefits. I myself am not a fan of segregation because I believe that it can create consumerism in a way. Because you can market something for white people and then you can twist it around and make it for black people or vice versa. Sometimes going in a perpetual cycle. And why do you think black people still to this day say rock and roll? Man, that's our thing. I mean, we had... What's that guitar player from the 50s? Uh, oh shit, I don't remember. He was not Jimi Hendrix. Jimi Hendrix was more relevant in the 60s and 1970. The year of his passing. Let's see, Chuck Berry, Chuck Berry, that's what I'm thinking of. So that truly is the standard. And it's not a very impressive standard, neither. I'm not even talking about like, hating whites because Gandhi didn't hate white people. Just overthrowing anything that is for Western and white influence. That's the big deal. Because you can do that shit all you want as long as you're hipsterific about it. But you harm whites in a very Western way. That ain't gonna fly. Because the West, that is white's magnum opus. And you strike that, your ass is grass. Anyways, this is Mr. Wonka 7. This rant did not make any fucking sense. I have a mad fucking speech impediment. I'm fucking done. I'm fucking too tired to do anything properly and too awake to go to sleep. I don't know, maybe certain parts of my brain have shut down, but not others. I don't give a fuck.